Hello, Sofia Zapata here. Today I'm doing a video with consent forms. That is my assignment for today. So today we'll be talking about informed consent or consent forms. Informed consent is the expression more of physical. Consent forms are more signing. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to throw out there is that if you do not have consent from a patient, it is considered battery. So you always want to make sure that you have consent. So consent form is it just signing. There is a big discussion about consent. Consent forms are used when someone else other than yourself allows, allows someone else, like maybe your husband or your sister, your grandma, your father, even your mother, when you let them have your patient's health record, they also need to sign some consent forms. That way, everything is legal. Also, for a surgery, any procedures, you do need to sign a consent form. A discussion occurs giving the patient choice whether they want to undergo the treatment or not. So, a consent form isn't just signing. They also do discussions about what will be going what will be going on with the procedure and they give you time for the patient to decide whether they want to continue or they want to decline the process so there's different type of consent consent forms one for surgery second if someone else wants your patient patient health records then you have to sign a consent verifying that you did let the facility the clinic you did let them pass those patient health records on to the person that you you verified there's other uh consent like implied consent when the patient walks into the clinic meaning they they need to be seen by the doctor or express consent, like when you take somebody, their blood pressure, well, the patient, the blood pressure, they give you the hand that is um, express consent. But anyway, the main point here is the consent forms. I would use a consent form when somebody is going to undergo surgery. That's when I would use a consent form. I would also use a consent form when someone uh someone from the patient's family wants to have the someone from the patient's family is letting them have access to their patient those are one of the two two of the ways that i would require a consent form when you do surgery on a patient when the doctor performs surgery on a patient you need to find you need to sign a consent form and when that happens, like I was saying before, there is a discussion. And according to the AMA Standards for Information Consent, the discussions should include the patient's diagnosis, if known, nature and purpose of the proposed treatment or procedure, risks and benefits of the proposed treatment or procedure, alternative treatments or procedures, regardless of the cost or the extent to which the treatment options are covered by health insurance. Risk and benefits of the alternative treatments or procedures. Risks and benefits of not receiving or undergoing a treatment or procedure. That is going to be it all today for my consent form assignment. Thank you very much.